Hi, it's the JIB Talk Show. It's good to have you here again. How is your week going? Okay, so I get all your messages. I get all your comments. Um, continue to send in your comments. Engage me. I will try to reach out to as many people as I can. All right, so it's a new episode. And what are we talking about today? We are talking about female friendships and older women. with my boyfriend last year and I remember saying that one of my um, greatest regrets is not intentionally building female friendships. I wasn't very intentional about the friendship that I had in my 20s, in my 30s, spilling over to my 40s and it's, it's a big regret for me. Why? Because I have always and I still believe that women are their strongest strongest support system and to have that kind of support system is very intentional you have to build something you have to decide you have to sacrifice you have to be committed to building something with other women um what i really if i had to picture what i really wanted for my 40s in friendship is to actually have a business with a close friend or maybe a group of friends women we have a business together we have uh, we travel together I've never traveled with a friend before you know so we have a business together we travel together and we spend like we spend weekends together we go to, to a hotel and spend the weekend we swim together we just together we laugh and cry together you know strong women who you vibe with who are on your you know, you share the same values with. I wasn't very intentional about building female friendships and it's something that I I really kind of wish I did. So if you can, in your 20s right now, 30s, I would advise you women, you need strong female friends and not just anybody, someone who truly vibes with you, who you share same values with. It's really, really important. You may find love with a man, which is great. It's always great, but... There is something, there's a connection you would have with your sisters in the, in, in this term. I'm talking about friends that you can't really, really, truly have with a man. And just like the things you have with your man, you can't have with your girls. So it's a big gap for me. And I wish I really took it intentionally because I'm a very deliberate person. I do things deliberately. So it's one of my regrets that I didn't truly build um, female friendships whilst I was younger. Okay, so we can always correct that because life is here and we can do anything we want to do and i'm trying to ensure that the kind of women that i have in my space are really positive i really hate to gossip i i really hate it i hate talking about other people in that sense of negative vibe so at the start of 2020 i wanted to get close to someone because i've known her before but we weren't exactly very close and i wanted to get close to her because i i was trying deliberately to build friendship and I remember we, we hung out together and the first thing, I remember the first conversation we had was she was gossiping about a celebrity and it was such negative, negative energy, such bitter energy. And to show you how foreign that kind of talk is to me, I literally, I was, I was sweating, I was cringing, I was, and I just realized, and I, I cut it off immediately because that was our first outing together. I was, you know, I was trying to reconnect with her and she was just full, full of just lousy, lazy, unnecessary gist that doesn't add any value to me. I really hate to talk about other women in that certain kind of bitterness. I don't care if the person is there or not. It's just, it's an energy that I don't allow into my space. So I cut her off. So I would advise that sometimes we think these things are harmless, you know, empty gossip is harmless, but it tells, it says a lot about you. And it says a lot, a lot about how you want to be perceived in your own branding and your own persona. And I think you should actually be deliberate about ensuring that you don't have negative energy in your space, especially as an older woman, because you really do need to protect your peace. You need to protect your space. I don't like negative energy. And I'm very deliberate to ensure that I cut people off. I have the audacity to end anything. That's the truth. I have a lot of audacity. I have the nerve to end anything. I have stopped talking to family members because I believe 
they are negative people because you know what when people always say how how do you get to this point joy life is short i don't know how people can't see how life how short life is people just die and we move on like they never existed doesn't that bother you it bothers me like i could just die right now and that's it okay so my friends or people that i'm close to and family and my lover might cry but they're going to move on he's going to find somebody else to love eventually my kids are going to smile again you know life will move on and that's it so you are literally on your own in this life no matter how many love you have from people so i'm very aware i'm conscious about it that this life is mine if for instance i have anything disturbing me right now in my body nobody knows it's i am the one that probably can't sleep at night she understands so it's my life it has to be on my terms and that is how i perceive friendship to be and i am trying to rectify it of course i'm trying to ensure that the kind of women i allow into my space are women who are really busy they don't have time for idle gossip they really are into their business into building into structuring so those are things I, because women are not very deliberate about friendship. They just allow anybody into their space. And that is why they're always offended when somebody ends a friendship. I have been that person. I called a friend one time and I told her why I was going to end a friendship with her. And people thought, and I mean, the people who heard it, like, it, it they felt it was strange because we just allow any kind of person to exist within our space. You have a right to call people call them out i mean when i say call out not call them out in public but call them and tell them i want to end this friendship and this is why it's not something that we're used to in this culture but i i guarantee you it is a healthy way to start to um, ensure that your space is protected okay so you could start i need you to sit down and um have have an overview of the people around you and start to think about the benefits that they bring into your life. Of course, it doesn't have to be selfish. It's not just what they give to you. It's also what you give back. Do you understand? So have that conversation with yourself, have that meeting with yourself and the people in your life, just have it down, write it down. And you will see, you will see, I guarantee you that you'd realize there's so many people in your space that should not be there. And they take up so much time. And you know how time flies. 24 hours is like two hours. If you're a very busy person, 24 hours is not enough. And they, they take up all of your time. I, my mom had a friend once who would be on the phone for hours. And I, re, and I knew she didn't really like the friendship or have any respect for the friendship. And I always told her, why don't you just cut it off and you could use your hours for something else. So I would like to encourage young, um, older women to start to be deliberate with the friends that they have in their lives. So you have to be very um, concerned about the quality of friendship you have. Have expectations. I know we always say, don't go into any relationship with any expectation. But sometimes, no, all the time actually, I think what we are trying to say when we talk about expectations is not expecting people to do for you what you should do for yourself. But when it comes to expectations on what you want from a friend what are your expectations of a girlfriend like a female friend what are your expectations we all have some kind of expectation that we want from female friends it's okay to have those expectations and it's okay to end a friendship when those expectations are not met i know it's foreign culture to us and we're not exactly very we're not used to it but you'll see that you literally see that you have more hours to do more productive things when you shed you know, your space of people that exactly don't contribute anything to you. All right. So I want to know what you think about female friendships. I want to know all about your friendships with other women. Has it been productive? Have they been encouraging? And there's another thing. There's another thing while I round up. A lot of women find um, friendship only when it comes to sharing sorrow. Like when something bad happens to you, they that is when you see that they are willing to cry with you. They're willing to make you, they, 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 they stay, they, they grow better when it's a sorrowful situation, but they may not be able to celebrate you with your wings. They, it might be foreign to them. I used to know people who would like, when they troll me, yeah, they would always send the, the messages for me to see. And then 
and then say, oh, this is horrible, Joy. This is horrible. I saw this on a blog. Oh, horrible. I'm like, okay. But then when you do all kinds of things, because I do all kinds of things that are great, they don't exactly, uh, they're not exactly part of the tribe who would say, hey, congratulations. What am I going to do for you? Or buy you a gift to celebrate with you. So you need to, is that the kind of energy you want? I hate to bother about trolls. I don't want the energy. I hate sympathy. I hate pity. I just want to be great. So if that is not the kind of energy you want, then you get, yeah, let them go. But if you are the kind of person who, who like sympathy, it's fine. We're all very different. I am just here to do great things. And I need women who are great. I want a friend who will be like, Oh, Joy, that's stuff they said about, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, let's order something and eat. So what's the next thing you're doing? That's my girl. So if you're that kind of woman, hello. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next week. Drop your comments and I'll be there to engage you. Mwah.